In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit the difference between PRP and stem cell therapy. Um, PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma, and basically what we do is we draw a sample of your own blood and we centrifuge it, and that will concentrate the platelets out of there. Those platelets, um, if we inject them into an area that we want to use them, um, they will release growth factors that will stimulate the body to heal and repair itself. Stem cells are pluripotent cells, and basically that means that they have the ability to transform in whatever cell they need to be depending on where you use them. Um, when you look, for example, at the skin, most of those cells in there are skin cells. They, they cannot be anything else. That's, that's what they do. Um, however, if you put a stem cell in there, that stem cell will now turn into a new fresh skin cell. Um, the same thing is when you put it, for example, on the scalp. It will turn into a hair follicle. It cannot do anything that the skin cell does. It can only make hair, but that's what you need it to do in that area. One thing I like to use is like um, the bricks and um, uh, workers analogy. Basically, if you have a wall and it's held together by bricks and mortar, let's say over time, the wall starts to become a little bit fragile. It it's needs repairs. And usually that means that some of the mortar is not working as well. So what you do is you hire workers and send them in to fix the mortar. Those are the platelets, okay? The platelets will go and fix the mortar and after they're done fixing it, the wall looks good again. Now, if the damage is worse, if it needs more repair where some of the bricks are missing, now sending in workers to do the mortar is not gonna do you any good. You're gonna need actual bricks to fix that wall and those bricks are the stem cells. And that's kind of you know how I like to explain the difference between PRP, the mortar, uh, sorry, the workers that repair the wall and uh, the bricks, which are the stem cells.